this is this basic plug points and equations, right? We have an equation and function notation is an instruction to plug points and equations, right? They're saying g of three here. We have g of x equals radical eight x plus one. So three is gonna go in place of that x. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I would not really be doing on my scratch even. Uh, it's it's pretty basic mental math, um, but you know, if that's not good for you, then that's fine. You know, show the work. It never hurts. So eight times three is 24 plus one is radical 25, which is five. Now, couldn't it also be negative five? Well, not really. But it, it, the point is, if that was an answer, then fine, you would pick it. But it, it's not. It, obviously, five is the answer here. It's the only thing that works. So um, you wouldn't be given that choice of five versus negative five. Um, so there you go. That's it. That's the whole thing. Uh, if you really wanted to and you didn't trust yourself, you could throw this into Desmos. You would just need to do something like, you know, G of X. I would type the whole thing out. And this is really not for this question so much as just anything that we have function notation for. Remember, Desmos is pretty good at doing it for you. Type the equation and then on the next line, just do G of whatever number you want, right? This was three. Do it and they'll tell you it's five. So Desmos is really great at function notation, you know, mostly for when the equation itself is so complicated that you don't want to do all the arithmetic involved in plugging it in, then Desmos is great. But here that arithmetic is, is so straightforward. You, you really just want to be able to do this like by the book, mental math or a little bit of scratch paper.